In her research lab, Ilmira Gilmadinova perfects her own medical innovation. It's a fibrous gel that bonds with human tissue, a kind of artificial skin that she says could treat burns, even mend broken teeth and bones. This whole process was dreamed up and developed in Russia by her. I met people with a long period of rehabilitation in hospitals. They can spend more than a month in bed, sometimes even three or four. So I wanted to create a material which would speed up the healing process and make the rehabilitation period shorter. Ilmira's skin substitute is still being tested, but once approved, she hopes it could become an important, widely used treatment, and crucially for Russia an all-too-rare commercial success. Well, this artificial skin is exactly the kind of innovative product that the Russian government says the country needs to diversify its economy away from oil and gas. The problem is, though, here in Russia has never been inventiveness. The problem is turning these innovations into successful businesses. Konstantin Oblov is a recent graduate taking advantage of Russia's latest drive to encourage high-tech business. His designs for more efficient gas sensors used in industry have already been put into production thanks to Russian government grants and support. But even Konstantin believes the Russian system, compared to its US and European counterparts, is prone to abuse and needs careful oversight. The government needs to liquidate companies created just to get state money, then shut down as soon as they get it. There are many of them. Firms that are really in need of cash are left with little support. Maybe tougher competition for grants, say researchers, could help decide which new companies have most potential as Russia's new generation of innovators build their country's future. Matthew Chance, CNN Moscow.